I've not seen such bravery. Well, another E3 come and gone, and as always, there were a few gems to be found at the sometimes painfully bad conferences. This year's E3 brought up some discussion about who the target audience was and who it should be. Is E3 for hardcore gamers, family gamers, investors, attractive web show hosts? Who's to say? This brings up even more questions, like what separates a hardcore gamer from a casual gamer? For tough questions like these, it's good to have a go-to source for answers. Wacky Funsters, the Geekwad's Guide to Gaming. Surely this game has all the answers we crave. It is a guide to gaming after all, right? <coughs> this is our protagonist, known only as Geekwad. A quick search through Urban Dictionary resulted in the peace of mind that nobody ever says the word Geekwad. And nobody ever should. Our appearance challenged friend is sitting here watching credits on his computer screen. Obviously, this is a regular activity for a gamer. Take notes, everyone. I know I am. And he's watching this on a Megatron? That's Megatron, your face. Mega, uh, Decepti Decepticon, op Opti Opticon, uh, Transformer joke. More than meets the eye. What is with these credits anyhow? A heartfelt thanks to the guy who invented dental floss? Anybody who's offended by this game? People who say nuclear instead of nuclear? It's like starting out the game by saying, Hey everybody, this game was programmed by assholes. The credits are interrupted by an error, and Geekwad is... sucked... into the computer. Well, the game didn't exactly promise originality. Software theft protection? Explain E equals MC squared. Please describe in haiku format. Okay, okay, this is actually chuckle-worthy. Each time you boot up the game, you have to answer three ridiculous questions put in only for humor's sake. I guess I should say that it's funny at first, because after having to go through it multiple times, the charm kind of wears off. Greetings, mighty Geekwad Gamer. I am King Wacky the Third, fun-loving ruler of legendary Funster Computer Kingdom. And this is my king voice. King Wacky has been searching the kingdom for someone as brave and bony as you are. His kingdom is in peril and... uh-oh. This is not a good sign. He says that his games used to be dynamic, but now they're cheap. Is he talking about the games we're about to play? Let's hope not. This lack of quality in his games is due to an evil spell by the Duke. The curse also affects the king's appearance and personality, except not right now, because reasons. I think that means that later on he's going to change forms or something. So our goal is to, I don't know, play the games of his kingdom? He didn't really say. King Wacky just tells us to investigate the crest. And what a beautiful crest it is. Tennis rackets, an arm, molecules, a cat thing, and a bullet going through a cat? Maybe? We'll save that one for later. Tennis seems to be the safest bet, so we'll go with that. Oh, it's not tennis, it's ping. And this is my opponent. Hey, remember that time when saying car company's names instead of actual Japanese words was hilarious? <laughs> Similar to life, each player starts with love and progresses towards angst to win. I, uh, okay. So, it's Pong. 10 minutes of all this bullshit just to play Pong. The score starts with both players at love and then goes to infatuation, like, acceptance, slowly progressing towards angst. Every time a point is scored, there's a break and someone delivers a zinger, such as the agony of defeat. <laughs> it seems almost impossible to mess up a game of Pong, but Wacky Funsters found a way. There were multiple times when the ball simply passed through the racket, and a racket hitting a ball back seems to be a pretty important part of Pong. Now that that's done, we go back and talk to the king, who is now, well, the king. And he loves to eat. What follows is a series of trivia questions asking you to complete some Elvis lyrics. But you don't complete them with actual lyrics, no no no, that would make too much sense. If you complete them with the actual lyrics, Elvis slowly gets fatter and fatter. What you're supposed to do is replace the actual lyrics with lyrics about food. Then he tells you to go back to your quest? Well that leaves me with the burning question of what the hell was the point of that? Seriously, I've been playing for 30 minutes now and all I've really done is play a game of Pong. I guess let's see what this cat game is. Oh, my mistake, it's not a cat, it's a deer. Oh shit! This is Rambi versus Blambo, and from the looks of it, it'll be a shooting game. You actually get to choose between playing as Rambi or Blambo. Is it just me, or does Blambo sound like some kind of Rambo clown hybrid? Anyway, I started out with Blambo, who looks very sad. We're here to help the hunters, well, 
hunt. It's pretty straightforward. Don't shoot the skunk. Do shoot the rabbit, bear, owl, deer, and... Dolphin? Dolphin? Shoot the dolphin? Shoot the dolphin in a forest? F forest? Dol dolphin? Forest? Forest? There it is! F fucking forest dolphin! Dolphin forest! Dol forest dolphin! Dolphin! If you choose to play as Rambi, you get pretty much the same game, only... Alright, this is just getting ridiculous. When you return to the king, he is now... Cheese King, and he... Asks... Riddles, for some reason. I don't know. At this point, I don't really care about this guy. The next game, which is represented by a flexing arm, is a game called Big Guys with Muscles. It's a fighting game where your goal is to push your opponent back to his side of the screen. Now I could tell you how horrible the controls are, but I think I'll just let you watch some of the footage. Yep. The game itself isn't hard. I basically just alternated two buttons the entire time in one. After that's done, we make our required visit to the king. This time he's joke king. Maybe in a few trips, Sneak King will make an appearance. Wishful thinking. Are we really even expecting anything different at this point? You complete three jokes for him and then head back to the fucking crest. Are you sensing a pattern yet? I guess we'll try the, uh, the bullet, bullet cat. Oh, that's lovely. I guess that was a tire and not a bullet. The goal of this game is to drive around in your car, shoot other cars, and run over animals. And you know what this game is kinda like? I'll give you a hint. The description of this minigame on the back of the box is, take out some lunch meat on your way to the office. Never has a driving simulation been so hard. Your carnage may vary. Hard Driving was a driving arcade game published in 1989. It was an important contribution to the video game industry because it was one of the first racing games to have a 3D polygon environment. I guess these guys consider their game an homage to hard driving, or given their attempt at comedy, maybe it's a parody. Now that I mention it, the big guys with muscles description mentions a famous game as well. Teach your third grade school teacher a real lesson. You've never seen street fighting like this. Really? Street fighter? It's like they're saying, hey, 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 you remember these fun games? Yeah, well, fuck you, you're not playing those, you're stuck with this shit. Oh, what the fuck? King Tut? Just to keep playing these shitty minigames, I have to answer trivia questions on fucking King Tut? How does a game like this even happen? Who is the target demographic here? Alright, it's time for the last game. Maybe it'll be something decent, or at least original. The game is called Steroids, and you have these two strong gentlemen who want you to shrink down into their bloodstream to fight off impurities. Remind you of something? It's motherfucking asteroids. Only instead of shooting, you bounce around all over the fucking place. I'm getting sick of this shit. The king is now King Kong, and who really cares? You answer trivia questions and then move on. There are no new games to play, but in order to advance through what can barely be called the story, you have to replay one of the games. After suffering through that, you come back to, seriously? The Duke of Wainington. They really chose John Wayne to be their villain in this game? On the bright side, maybe we'll get some kind of shootout for the last game. Nope. Trivia questions. All about western movies. After you answer enough questions, the Duke remarks that he never wanted Wacky's stupid kingdom anyhow. He just wanted people to like him. Yeah, that's like me making an appearance in Jack and Jill and saying, No, 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 I didn't want to be in it. I just thought it would help my acting career. Once again, we have to play another minigame before we can continue. I'm just purposefully losing them at this point just to get finished faster. The king is back now, and I wonder who he's supposed to look like. He remarks that everyone wants to buy a copy of Wacky Funsters. Yeah, wishful thinking, buddy. But wait! The game is not over. We have a chance to be a CEO of Team Wacky. How do we do that, you ask? Well, with more trivia questions, of course. This time the questions are about the game itself. Which item is not in Geekwad's bedroom? Yeah, where's the who gives a shit option? <laughs> Oh, and if you're wondering, the games don't change after you beat the story. All this talk about how the games have lost their glory, and how they used to be great games, was just bullshit. You wanna play these games? You'd be better off just going out and playing Pong, Street Fighter, Hard Driving, or Asteroids. You can't just repackage a few old games and try to pass it off as something else. Eventually, people are going to find out that all you did was make one of those 100 games in one collections, only instead of 100 games, you only made 5. 
Wacky Funsters really leans hard on their failed attempt at humor. Really, aside from the theft prevention questions, which quickly wear out their welcome, there is nothing funny to be found in this game. And when that falls apart, there's really nothing left. I mean, just look at the back of the box. Warning, the following parody has been determined by the general surgeon to be incredibly hilarious, especially to laboratory nerds. Any likeness to anybody is purely coincidental. Not. On the front of the box, they even have the balls to call it the naked gun of computer games. That's just, it's, it's, that's, it's a lie. Humor is not an impossible concept in video games. There are plenty of games that rely on clever writing or creative concepts and achieve a great level of humor. Wacky Funsters is just a bunch of one-liners and horrible remakes of popular games. There is literally no reason why someone should own this game, other than to make a video about how shitty it is, I guess. Which is...